Hi everybody, if you're watching this, uh, that means it's time for the Sunday Makeup Basket of the Week. I hope you all had a really great and productive week, and I'd like to do something that I hardly ever say, and I really need to concentrate and focus on saying it more. I'd like to say welcome to all my new subscribers, and thank you to my existing subscribers. I really, truly appreciate you, uh, your comments, your uh, subscriptions, and your feedback. It does mean a lot to me, and I do take it into consideration when I'm filming these videos. That being said, um, I've kind of been laying low as far as YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the reason for that is, as you know, I've started my uh, new job and I've been at it two weeks strong, uh, heading into my third week. It, I'm at that stage in the job where everything becomes overwhelming, which is normal. Um, I've been told that's normal, and uh, I'm just going to try to get through it the best I can, that's for sure. So I will get started on the products. Um, just as a side note, I went out and picked up, I put, I put this on my Facebook, I picked up an angel today, which I thought was really great. It's carved out of a stone, and I've forgotten which one. So... Who are my stone people? Diane could probably tell me, Julie could probably tell me what stone this is, but I'm going to look it up in my gemstone uh, Bible and see what it is. But I saw it and I thought, this is, this is definitely it. So something I'm trying this week also, um, it was wonderful. Uh, occasionally from time to time I get products sent to me for review and I was able to be fortunate enough to receive the Live Clean Professional Age Resist line from Live Clean. Um, so this is the conditioner. It came with a shampoo, a conditioner. It has a multi 10 in one treatment age resist and also a miracle nutrition oil. So obviously to me, the first thing I think of when I see this is it reminds me very much of Pantene's Age Defy system, which I really uh, like quite a bit. And this 10 in one um, would be like the Pantene BB cream uh, for me. And I've been using it. It's a decent line. Um, I'm not going to lie. And if you're into the eco-friendly uh, type thing, then you will be happy to know that 96% of this uh, product is made from plant ingredients. So that's important too. Something else I've been loving, just did a blog post about it. Won't be my last blog post because that's the weekly recap, but it'll be the post before that is my Addicted to All Things Pretty Luxe Oil. And this scent that I got is called Scorned Nymph. And you can take that in whatever direction you want to take it. Um, I love the scent. I use this as a body oil when I'm out of the shower. Um, it, it's it's great. It, it's got... It comes off with a, a nice fruity smell and then it's like wham and it hits you with this really spicy kind of sexy uh, finish which I am really truly enjoying. I, it feels like I'm more than halfway through the bottle and uh, that's about right because I have been using it every day and I really uh, like it a lot. It's also uh, made by a uh, Twitter friend of mine and I will leave her information down below in the description bar for you to um, look at after if you're interested because she's got a lot of products bath salts she's got the oils she's got face oils she's got scalp oils she's got uh, shea butter all sorts of stuff that you should look at and her name is Christy and she's great okay products I did my recap like I said so when you if and when you go to my recap on my blog www.et it, I can't even spell it. Oh my gosh. E T T U A N D Y O U dot com. Um, you will know that I absolutely love this CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. This is their liquid, their liquid makeup. That, that's what they call it. And uh, it, it's really great. Um, I love it. And I love it so much that I'm going to use it again. Um, I feel like this is going to have my pore vanisher kind of kind of feel towards it. It's just, it's a light makeup. It really blends so nicely um, and easily. It's not a heavy feeling makeup and the, the match to my skin tone is just, it's dead on. And the same goes for the True Blend Fix Stick. Uh, Fix Stick. I thought this was going to be too dark for me, but the packaging, the wrapping that uh, encased this before I opened it was shaded, and that's why I thought this, this is actually the perfect color for my um, under eye area. And again, I'm really liking these, but 
as you know, I really love my L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Crayons, and that's what I'm going to liken these two. They're not exactly the same. This I find this one to be a, a bit more sheer, but they just it's so easy to put them on and to blend them. And again, another match with my skin tone, so I'm, I really do like that. Something that's new that I'm going to try is my Garnier Ultra Lift Transformer Anti-Age Skin Corrector. This is tinted. Um, I have tried it out on my hand, and I'm I'm not sure what to think about this. It comes out white, just like that, and then when you rub it in, it adjusts to your skin color. So you can see it kind of going darker there, and then when you put it on, it's completely blended in now. So um, it's not the same texture. It's a little bit thinner than the L'Oreal Pore Vanisher, which I absolutely love, and you all know that. Um, but it's still the same type of thing. I can definitely see a lot of correction here. Um, would it make my pores smaller? I'm not sure. This is more of a wrinkle. Wrinkles look, re look reduced and skin feels firmer. So I'm going to start out the week with this. If I need this, I'm going to put it in my basket anyway. I'm going to be using this till it is gone um, because I enjoy this product so much. I'm very pleased with it. For, I don't even think I put any eyeshadow in here. No, I didn't even put any eyeshadow in here. That's, that's where my head is at now. Um, for mascara, I'm going to use my Marcel Extension Plus mascara. For bronzer, just trying to finish up my Dior, I can't even open this, Nude nude Skin Bronzer. Not buying Dior has saved me a ton of money, so give that a thumbs up. My highlighter is going to be the um, Amazonian Clay, this is Rose, the shimmering. I used the champagne last week, had really great results with that. For blushes, I'm giving myself two. We're going to go with MAC uh, Daft Punk and like the labels worn off this. I've had it for such a, a long time. Um, it's a great blush. And then Rose Dioro by Milani. And I know Milani came out with those solid color like blushes that have the shape of a rose. And I'm dying to try those. I don't think they're here. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get those because the Milani section in the Walmart near me is about this big. So in the meantime, I will use my baked blushes, which suit me just fine. Then for lips, um, again, I'm in love with this Jumbo Gloss Balm from CoverGirl. This one is in, I can, you know, it doesn't say. I hate when they do that. I wish they would write the names down on here. I know it has something to do with fig in it or jam, and uh, I just can't remember. So I'm using that for sure, and then I found um, a Clinique Chubby Stick in Mega Melon. I like these less, and the reason I like these less, the Clinique version, is they actually irritate my lips. Um, they're, they make them sting, almost, and I know they're not a plumper, but this doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. This one, for some reason, does. The Revlon ones, um, I can use those, but the Clinique ones really bother me. So I'm just using up what I have, and then that's it for that. And then finally, the NYC Appalicious Glossy Lip Balm. And this one's in 359 Apple Plum Pie. So this is like my favorite one out of all of these because it's the darkest. Um, but it's still very sheer because it's a balm. And you can't go wrong with the price for these. I believe they're $3.00. Then, just in case I need it, I don't think I will, the Shiseido um, pressed powder. I use this to kind of fill in any spots that the foundation doesn't do too well with, but this foundation's pretty good, and I like it enough to use it for a second week, so that's important. My fragrance this week is one of the MAC fragrance blends. This is no longer available. This is Naked Honey. I actually got this at... I want to say it's the Estee Lauder sale, and I jumped on it because, like I said, it was one of my favorites. I've used it before. It's, I believe it's a toilette. It's definitely got an alcohol base. I can't read it right now, but I do enjoy it. Um, yes, it's got a honey component to it. So, yeah, I don't have my eyeshadow down here, and obviously I didn't pick one, so that will have to come. Um, if I like it, you'll see it in my recap. If not, you won't. 
Um, something else I was fortunate enough to receive um, from L'Oreal is their new um, Extraordinaire Gel Lacquer System. So they sent me step one, which is the primer base, the step three, which is the glaze, and then a couple of step twos, which are the gel uh, polish, well, the, the nail polish, the nail lacquer that's colored. So this is a UV-free um, gel system that you don't, obviously you don't need a light for this. So you use it, use the step one, then you put the uh, nail color on, and you, then you use the step three. I'm seeing mixed results on this. I watched Nuvo Cheap, um, uh, well, I read her blog about this, and she said that this actually chipped faster for her. But then I've seen another girl here, I want to say her name is like his AV Nation or something like that on Instagram, and she loves it. And it does have a beautiful look, um, very shiny, very smooth. It's supposed to fill in ridges and give your nail kind of a, a thicker looking effect, like a strong, healthy nail um, that has nice clean edges, etc., etc. Um, so we'll try it, but I'm not, as you know, I'm not really a nail polish person. Um, I've always wanted to get into nail polish, but I feel like for me, because I am so rough on my nails apparently, manicures don't last on me longer than an hour usually before some kind of chipping, smudging, smearing, etc. Um, and I've tried all the tricks, so I'm not sure I can be converted. However, I do have 10 toes that are in need of some TLC, so I'm probably going to give this a whirl um, on my feet, and I'll let you know how it goes. So that leads into my question for the week. I want to know, are you a gel person like me, a, a nail lacquer, shellac, gel, even acrylic tip wearing person, or are you a polished person? And if you're whatever you are, whether you're a gel person, um, nail polish person, acrylic wearer, then why are you that way? Um, and what do you like most about being a, a polish wearer or a gel person? So that's all for me. Uh, like I said before, I hope you all have a great week, had a great week, have a great week, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye.